Hello, my beautiful Cancer Dragons. Welcome to your full moon reading for January 17th, 2022. Um, so this is the full wolf moon in Cancer. So you guys will probably be very heavily impacted by this. This is about um, the fulfillment of what you started with the new moon on the 2nd. And it's a very emotional time. So you guys, you guys got to make sure that you're in, in check with yourselves, okay? Because um, cancers, you guys can be fantastic and wonderful and loving. You can be very, um, very sort of unruly and moody with your emotions. So you just make sure because this full moon is going to have pretty big impacts on you guys. Let's see. Yeah, so here's your card. So take time to breathe out, right? The end of a tough cycle approaches. That's good. And expect power, powerful change. Yeah, so as you're closing out cycles, um, changes are happening. And I think that you really need to just keep your um, mental clarity about you. Sorry, guys, I'm just taking a little sip of coffee. I think that you just need to really have yourself together when this happens. Um, because as something is closing out for you, um, it, it's going to like, I, I just feel, I'm going to show you this card actually. It's the new, new moon eclipse. It's like something is just going to explode out from what you thought was nothing. It's like, yeah, okay, well, I'm doing this because I have to. I'm getting through it. Da, da, da. And then all of a sudden it's going to be like, boom, 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 boom. And all kinds of great things are going to start aligning for you because you've started to end some cycles. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, you guys have had a lot of closure readings, right? Like lots of closure readings. I just want you to remember, so as we go through readings and stuff, it things don't just happen overnight, okay? So, um... What is it? It takes you a month for every year that you were in a relationship to heal. Now, that's a normal relationship. If it was a toxic relationship, it's probably a lot longer because it's messed with your mind. But so it's okay to um, to take time. And, you know, these changes are going to happen and you sort of really need to be emotionally um, strong to go through and move through them. So let's go ahead and get some cards for this. Oh, they're flying out for you guys. So my beautiful Cancers, please do like and subscribe. I do appreciate your support for my tiny channel. Um, it is free. And, oh, <laughs> and I dropped one. And um, it is free. And um, what was I going to say? I forget. I thank you for it. So let's go ahead. So remember, this is for Cancer Sun Moon rising. And just because of the nature of the moon, I would say it could easily be love. Um, also, um, energies could be reversed. So if you're cross-watching, this could be for a Cancer in your life or Cancer. This could be picking up on the energy of somebody else in your life. So let's see. Although I try to pull out just for Cancer, but I can't... It's just a general reading, guys, okay? If it doesn't suit you, go find another sign, okay? You'll hear every reader say that, okay? So we're all just trying to, you know, get you the information and the help and the guidance that you need. So if it's not your reading, it's not your reading. Don't make it yours, okay? So in the past, we have this Queen of Cups in reverse. So we have somebody who's emotionally insecure. We have somebody who's codependent having trouble expressing emotions, right? Like very, um, uh, just sort of playing games, right? Um, I don't know if this is you or if this is somebody else, but somebody has been playing games. Just because of the nature of the Queen of Cups, it says that it is sort of you, but like I said, energies, you guys, you figure out who this is. <laughs> Let's go on with the reading and we'll see what else we can pull out from this. So this is just a giant mess. It, this is just a scattered mess in the middle. And it's funny because I was told, I was just told to look at it. It's like, this is like sort of like this giant mess that you've been going through, right? So this is the end of a tough cycle. This is your tough cycle. Let's see what's come out. 
Yeah, so we have the King of Swords. We have the King of Swords sideways. So I feel like um, somebody's been gossiping. Somebody's been um, putting people against each other. Um, there's, it's been sort of manipulative, possibly even abusive. Um, but they're very smart, okay? They, they, they may sort of be one way towards one person and then a completely different person in a different mindset, in a different setting. Okay, so this is not somebody that's nice. And then we have the emperor. There's a lot of people going on here, guys. I'm hearing that you're actually becoming the emperor because you have started to... Um, I think that you're starting to seek wisdom about this and that you realize that this person was making you powerless. Right? Like, I feel like you've started to take your power back from whoever this King of Swords is. Now, keep in mind, just because it's King and Emperor doesn't mean that it's male. It's just a heavy masculine energy, okay? Females can have male energy, blah, 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 okay? I don't speak gender. I speak energy, okay? Wow! And we have the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like not only are you overcoming this, but also you're also growing and you're becoming... Um, very practical. I think you're actually starting to become comfortable with who you are, right? You're putting your feet on the ground. Cancer, you're a water sign and you sort of like flow a lot. I feel like you started to just really put your feet down. Beside this Queen of Pentacles, there's a dog and dogs represent loyalty. Okay? It's about stability and loyalty. And I think that you realize what this was doing to you. This King of Swords and Queen of Cups in reverse, I think it might be the same person that you've had to overcome. And you're actually really putting your feet down. You're like, no, this is what I want. Yeah. Oh, yes. Death. You're putting an end to it. Oh, guys, this is awesome, right? And this is all sort of laying out. These were all in the middle, right? So take time to breathe out. End of a tough cycle begins. You're just like, I've had it. You're just like, I'm so done with this situation and all these people. You may have two other females and a male. You might have a, you know, two males, two females. Like this is, it's a pretty insane energy. There's a lot of court cards coming out, okay? It's, um, it's crazy. And you have your nine of pentacles coming out in reverse. And it's like you lost... Like you're very lonely, um, but also you realize that you lost your independence. You are very reliant on on the situation for something. But I think that you're finding yourself. Obviously, with death, you're finding yourself. The hermit, you need to go inside and heal something. Um, it's the, again, you have so many cards about being lonely. Um, and feeling so unsupported and alone. So Cancer, I'm actually sort of like starting to tear up a little bit for you guys because I'm feeling so much sorrow. And I think that you actually really need to, if this is your situation, I feel like you really need to have a good cry and let it out. You need to get it out of your, your, your being. You need to get it out of your body. And you, you need to you need to heal. I think that you may have been avoiding doing this for a very long time. I think you're avoiding actually healing and you're avoiding life. You've been avoiding actually living. You have the Page of Pentacles. So this is new. You're avoiding something new coming in, okay? You need to be open to receive this, okay? It's beautiful. You have your seven of wands in reverse. Yeah, like, you still have to plan. You still have weak boundaries, and everything is moving through. Make sure that you're taking the time. Because you've put this, you've put, you're ending this. Make sure you have your support systems in place as you complete this. As you end this. Can I get more cards, please? Can I get advice? <sighs> wow. 
when as soon as I said advice, okay, the five of wands came out, and the five of wands came out in reverse, and it's that you need to change to adapt to the different circumstances that are happening, okay? Don't get involved in anything risky, and be careful who you trust, but you need to change how you go about doing something, okay? This is also about things getting resolved. So through this change that you make, should you choose to do it, things will start getting resolved inside of you as well, right? Reaching out for help to the people that you know can actually really help you. The Eight of Swords, yeah, because you fear being trapped. You feel that you can't free yourself from your mind and you really need to go through and you need to do this. You need to make sure that you get the proper help that you have. Yeah, your mind is just so chaotic back here. Yeah, it is so chaotic um, that you just need to, you just need to, this card just flew out too. Yeah, everything is in chaos. And I feel like you may still not be, like you really need to know that powerful change will happen. The end of a tough cycle is happening. And you're being guided to make the changes so that you move with the universe. If you go against the universe, you're just you're going to be changing your fate. Because look what you have here. You have the Nine of Wands, and I was told that this is your final card. The Nine of Wands is about being determined. It's about having courage and standing your ground. It's also about recovering. Okay, you're exhausted, but you, and you need to recover, and you need to release the past so you can move forward. You need to have faith, okay? And find the people that help surround you, but you're the only one that can get you out of this. Nobody else can. You still have to do the work and, and you, you need to do this, but it doesn't mean you have to do it alone, okay? Okay, Cancer, that's your reading for the full moon. Please like and subscribe. Please, guys, keep moving ahead. Find your community. Find the people that, that support you but don't enable you. Find the people that actually push you and make you uncomfortable because they're the ones that love you and want to see you grow, okay? And uh, they will also love you when you need to be loved, okay? Um, that's your reading, guys. Um, please do like and subscribe and leave any comments for me if you wish, okay? I will see you in your next reading. Bye, guys.